Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be going through the main features of MotionX Eye Vibrometer app. This is an iPad app connecting to MotionX 2-channel wired vibration analysis kit and their single-channel vibration kit. It is used to measure machine overall vibration levels. The first page I'll visit is the overall vibration measurement page. This page can be divided into two parts. The top part is for capturing overall vibration readings, and the bottom part has a real-time vibration signal viewer. A very nice feature of iBiRometer is it has a library of commonly used machines, including motor, horizontal pump, vertical pump, fan blower, and spindle. For each option the user selects, there will be a corresponding machine graph with marked test points. The user can follow the graphic illustration, place the accelerometer at marked locations, and quickly capture overall vibration readings simply by tapping on the buttons. The moment the button is pressed, a screenshot of the signal spectrum is saved and added to the report. We'll talk about this later. We are working to expand the machine list to cover more types of equipment, but if your machine is not on the list, you can still select the None option and capture readings at up to six test points. On the right side of the reading capturing area, there's a vibration severity meter to help the user assess machine conditions at one glance. By default, it is based on ISO 10816 vibration standards. The user only needs to toggle the Edit Alarm Threshold switch and select a machine size group. A set of thresholds will be automatically loaded. If a custom standard is required or measurement is based on acceleration, the user can simply tap on the text field and enter a threshold value. The bottom part of this page consists of a real-time signal viewer. It continuously updates vibration signals in time waveform or FFT spectrum. Acceleration signal from the accelerometer is used directly for analysis or integrated to velocity. You can use two fingers to pinch to zoom to a specific frequency range, or quickly use the selector on the side. There's a peak marker in the FFT spectrum. When it's set to auto mode, iVibrometer automatically detects the high peak and places the marker there. When it's set to manual mode, you can move the marker directly with your finger on the signal viewer. Vibration information, including peak amplitude, 1x frequency, and RMS value, are displayed on the top right corner of the viewer. Data acquisition can be paused by pressing the pause button above the viewer. Now let's take some measurements from the motor. Once the vibration test is complete, a test report can be generated. There are two reporting options, a single page report or a more detailed full report. Let's take a look at the single page report first. On the top of the report, the user can enter general testing information, such as report title, date and time, staff name, machine, and plant. A company logo can be added to the report from either your camera or photo library. Similarly, a machine image can also be attached. The middle part of the report shows captured readings on the machine and saves spectrum screenshots during the test. The user can tap on acceleration velocity on the picture to switch between acceleration spectrum and velocity spectrum.
The bottom section has several fields for adding notes, signatures, and maps. After editing, you can press Show Report to read the generated PDF report. There are options to share the report via email, print wirelessly, or save locally using the Report Manager. Now we can go back and generate a more detailed full report. Similar to the single page report, it shows test information and test results. Additionally, there is a window to enter machine temperature measurements, a window to add visual inspection comments, and a sketch pad in case some quick drawings are needed. When the full report is generated, each test point will have its own page to show its spectrum. Similarly, the full report can also be saved to a local report manager, wirelessly printed, or shared via email. Next, we will revisit all the test reports we just saved from the Report Manager. It is organized in the Plant, Machine, Report structure, so the user can easily locate a specific test report. Once a report is selected, a pin drops on the map to show where the test was taken, and the PDF test report displays in the report view. Use the full screen button to expand the report to a full page. There are more options to export the report here, including AirDrop, email, cloud drives such as Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. To delete a plant or a machine or a report, Simply slide the selected row to the left. Let's go back and take a look at the setting options in the app. Here, you can select to use metric or imperial units based on what you need. Default vibration measurement parameter can be set to velocity or acceleration, and this setting can also be changed during the test on the measurement page. You can select a dark or white theme for the app, and background and text color will adjust accordingly. As I mentioned, Vibration test standard by default is ISO 10816, but the user can always customize. Here we have implemented another ANSI HI 9.6.4 standard, specifically for pump tests. Next is a box so you can select a logo for your full report. For the single page report, this can be done in the report page. The last setting is for app activation. You may contact us if the app asks you to activate for some certain hardware devices iVibrometer has a separate page for easy calibration. If you have a 1G 159Hz shaker, you can connect it to the accelerometer, as illustrated, and simply tap a button to calibrate the system. If you don't have a shaker, our hardware device ships with its calibration number, and you can enter it here. If you need any help, there's a PDF instruction page in the app to explain all the buttons and features. For further information, please visit our website at www.motionix.com. Thank you for watching!